Hello everyone. CNC programming is done using three methods, manually, using an automatic programming tool installed in the machine, or using computer-aided manufacturing or CAM programs. This video presents a step-by-step -step procedure to generate a CNC program for a turning operation using SOLIDWORKS. Here is the drawing of the part one we'll use. Open SOLIDWORKS, click New, and create a new part. At the beginning, generate the 3D model of the given part. I you already have the part drawing file you can export it. To make the 3D model, we have to start with the 2D drawing, select the front plane, and click Sketch. Then draw the part outlines. Draw the upper side of the part only as we will use the revolve option to generate the 3D model. The outline is drawn with any dimension then the smart dimension will be used to give it the correct ones. Starting from the lower left corner draw three lines. Here we have an arc, draw it. Then select the line and draw a horizontal line. Then again, another arc. After that is a horizontal line. Then complete the profile. Now select the smart dimension and adjust the dimensions. So here the diameter is 20 millimeters, so the radius is 10 millimeters. The length of this line is 15 millimeters. The radius of this arc is 15 millimeters. Then this radius is 25 millimeters by 2 equals 12.5 millimeters. Then the radius of this curve is 15 millimeters. And the final radius is 15 millimeters. The length of this line is 20 millimeters. And the length of this arc is 10 millimeters. So here it is fully defined because the line is coincident with the center of the arc. But actually, it is not. So, click the point and delete the coincidence. So, now, select these two points and give the dimension of 10 millimeters. Now the length of this line is 15 millimeters. Now the sketch is fully defined. So, exit the sketch, go to Feature, select Revolve Boss, and select the axis of rotation. Click OK. So now this is the 3D model. Here I am going to select the material. So right click on the material and select edit material and in that, I am going to select 6061 alloy. Click apply and close it. Now I have completed the geometry. So, I can start the CNC code creation. Here you can see the SOLIDWORKS cam option. If this cam option is not visible in your SOLIDWORKS, then click Options and select Add-ins. And in that, you can select SOLIDWORKS CAM and then click OK. So, select SOLIDWORKS CAM. Then you can click this arrow and select the SOLIDWORKS CAM feature tree. Here you can see the machine is selected as a mill. So, right-click on that, select Edit Definition then select the machine as a turning one. So, it is a single turret. Once finished, click Select and close this window. After selecting the machine as a single turret, go to the Stock Manager right-click on that and click Edit Definition. So here we can manage the stock. The material is already selected as 6061 alloy and the stock type is already a round bar stock. So, everything is defined. Here we can create some offset and add some material. Initially, I will add some material to the diameter. I have added 10 millimeters additional. And in the face, I am going to add another 10 millimeters. Right. Click OK to finish. Now right click on the main spindle and click Edit Definition. So here I am going to define the coordinate system. 
it is already in user defined. But the origin is part vertex, so I'm going to change it to stock vertex so that the vertex will be of the stock point. Click OK. Now, in some of the solid works, you can see extract machinable features here. If it is not visible, then you can click here and you can type it. So, type extract machinable features. So, you can see that. So, you can click on that. So, it will automatically create the features. You can see that it has created three features. So once the features are created, you can right click on that and you can select generate operation plan. Now the operation plan has been generated. After creating the operation plan, right click on here to generate the tool path. So now we have generated the tool path. Let us simulate it. Right click here and select simulate tool path. You can adjust the speed. Then click run. Make sure that everything is OK then click OK. To generate the CNC code, right click here and select post process. Here I am going to give a name for that and click save. After that, click the play option so it will automatically generate the CNC code. So now the code has been generated. You can click OK now. Open the code folder to check the text file. Double click on the file, the CNC program is created here. That's all. Thank you for watching. If you find this video helpful, click like and share it with whom may be interested. And do not forget to subscribe to the channel and activate the alarm to be notified of the new videos. Goodbye.